Have you guys ever had this happen where you see something that you know could potentially be an issue, but it hasn't caused you a problem, so you decide to ignore it and forget about it, and of course, it becomes a problem. Well, that's what I did. I was supposed to take this car to the track last week, but as I was loading it onto my trailer, there was a really strong smell of something burning that I could smell inside the car and outside of the car. Everybody thought I was burning the clutch, but I had a feeling that something wasn't right. Uh, I wasn't doing anything differently than every other time that I loaded the car, so I decided to take a look inside the engine bay, specifically for something that I knew was a problem on these cars, and uh, I think I found the culprit. So on most Subaru engines, there is a rubber cover on the top of the engine where the engine mates with the transmission. This hole, uh, I believe, gives you access to the torque converter bolts for the automatic or CVT. But uh, of course, the engine is the same for either the manual or the CVT, so we still have that rubber cover. Well, what ends up happening is when that rubber gets old, uh, it gets brittle and it shrinks, and it may pop out, and if you're lucky, it just sits on top of the engine. But if you have my luck, it goes inside the bell housing and is rolling around with the clutch, which is causing that burning smell. Let me uh, grab my phone here and see if, you, see if I can give you guys a better look at this hole right here. There you go, that hole right there, there's supposed to be a small rubber cover, but now it is inside of there. Just lovely. To give you guys a reference, we'll take a look at the GR86 engine. If we take a look down here, right in the middle of the screen, you can see that black rubber cover, and that's how it's supposed to look. Veris Engineering actually makes a replacement cover that's made out of aluminum and bolts into place to prevent this from happening. I should have installed this a long time ago. I've tried to fish the cover out uh, through the access board on the driver's side, through the hole where the cover is supposed to go. I even took the starter out and I used an inspection camera, but I couldn't find it. So what we're gonna have to do is take the transmission off to get that rubber cover off. Now, technically I probably would be okay just leaving it in there and dealing with the smell, but it's gonna bother me knowing that it's in there and just <laughs> smelling that, it's not a good feeling. So we're just gonna deal with it now and then once we have everything put back together, we'll install this so that never happens again. Slay cylinder is off the transmission. Oh, there's some connectors I need to remove too. Oh, Jesus Christ. So we need to take part of the exhaust off to get access to the drive shaft because that needs to come off and we need to remove the transmission mount here. We do have to drain the transmission, which is a shame because I just changed the fluid, but uh, we gotta do what we gotta do. Ugh. Before we go any further, I gotta get the skid pan off because we need to support the engine once we get the transmission off. Otherwise, it's gonna tilt forward and then we're gonna have a hell of a time putting the transmission back on. It's a little bit more difficult to take this off with the front splitter because it covers two of the front bolts, but with a little bit of tweaking, we got it. Okay. We've got pretty much everything out of the way. Exhaust, drive shaft, I've disconnected the shifter linkage. I've got a stand underneath the engine to support it so it doesn't tilt forward. And then we have a uh, transmission jack under the transmission. So now I'm gonna take the transmission mount off and then we can start unbolting the transmission. There's just these two bell housing nuts that I need to remove along with this uh, bolt. And then we can start shaking this transmission loose. Everything should be disconnected now, so with a little bit of wiggling and prying, should be able to get this transmission off of the engine. There we go. We 
We did it, baby! All right, where is this piece of shit? Turns out I may have taken the transmission off for no reason. Uh, the cover definitely did fall in here. You can see the black streaks it left on the pressure plate cover here. And there's also a bunch of black dust around the clutch area. And then in the bell housing here, you can see some more of that black gunk. So it was certainly in here, but it is nowhere to be found. So I'm assuming that it dropped in here and it got absolutely disintegrated by the clutch and the flywheel. Um, I'm not too upset about it because I wanted to find out anyway, but I'm gonna try and get everything cleaned up as best I can, get the gunk off here to minimize that burning smell, and then we'll get this put back together. I think I've got everything as clean as I'm gonna get it. We take a look at the clutch here. You can see all those black streaks are gone for the most part. So uh, now we can attempt to get this, holy shit, this transmission back on the car. back on a whole lot easier than when I did my clutch. All right, I've got the transmission roughly back on the car, so let's go ahead and install this bell housing cover. If I didn't remove the transmission, then this would probably be a two minute video. But hey, better safe than sorry. There's gonna be two bolts that we need to remove. One is this 14 millimeter bolt right here. And then there's one hiding back in the shadows here. Let me get my flashlight. Here we go. It's gonna be this one right here. So that's gonna be a 12 mil. And then this one is a 14. Once we remove both of those, we'll slide the cover into place and then reinstall the bolts. And that is literally it. Definitely make sure we don't drop these into that hole because I do not want to take that transmission off again. Use a swivel socket for this one. It's kind of in a weird spot where the hose is in the way. Hold on, someone's calling me. Hello? Hey, what's going on? Nothing, just working on the car. Taking longer than I thought. You wanna come bring me some ice cream? Okay, back to the normal programming. This is making me, I'm really paranoid that this bolt is gonna fall in there. All right, there we go. We'll get the cover into place. All right. Now I just need to tidy some things up for the transmission and we are good to go. If you guys haven't already done so, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. We are so close to that 5K mark and I wanna reach that milestone so that we can celebrate with a giveaway. Now, if you guys wanna save yourself some trouble and the headache that this caused me, definitely pick up that Varus Engineering Bell Housing cover. I'll link it down below. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.